Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I forgot to mention yesterday that this is the official launch of distance learning. And like I said, when we did the soft launch of distance learning, this is not summer break. This is not spring break. This is still school, but at your home. So remember that we have rules that you need to follow. So remember, rule number one, most important is be nice. And that means listen to your family, whoever's helping you with your distance learning. Maybe that's your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, or your older sister or cousin, whoever it may be, you need to listen to them because they're taking time out of their day to help you, so please be nice to them. And then number two, work hard. And I want all my students to at least be getting those packet pages done. The district is suggesting you you get at least two hours of work done a day. And if you are flying through those packet pages, that's why we posted bonus pages that you guys can do. You can either print them out or do them on a separate piece of paper. And then I have my long list of online resources that I hope you guys will be able to check out. I want to tell you guys, I was really sad when I found out that school was going to be canceled more than the anticipated two weeks. But I'm super grateful that we have technology to stay connected. And I'm really grateful that our district is giving out devices to kids that might not have devices so that they can still stay connected with their teachers and with uh, their classmates. So please keep attending those Zoom meetings so I can see you guys and so you guys can see each other. We're still going to do Zoom meetings every Thursday and Friday at 1. Your language arts page today has you going over high frequency words. So I want to go over these cards real quick. So the first one is round, such as a tractor has big round wheels. So I want you to look around the room. Tell your family member, whoever you're with, what you see in the room that's round. The next word is four, such as a sheep has four legs. I want you to tell your partner about some other animals that have four legs, or objects that have four legs. Next is large, such as we picked a large pumpkin. So I want you to tell your partner which ones are large. Listen, there's elephant, mouse, whale, ant, kitten, and giraffe. Which one of those animals is large? All right, next word is none, such as none of the dogs have spots. I want you to make your own sentence. None of the dogs blink. Like, none of the dogs are big. None of the dogs, what's something they have in common that none of them have? Finish that sentence. Next word is only. This sheep has only one lamb. Oh, that's cute too. All right, complete this sentence for your partner. I, <laughs> I have only one, what, what's something you have only one of? The next word is put, such as we put the best peaches in the box. Talk to your partner about the picture. Tell where the peaches are and who put them there. All right, and that's all I have for the high frequency words. Make sure you guys watch Mrs. Gentile's Telling Time lesson if you haven't already. And I'll also post the link to Jack Hartman's Telling Time video because I know you guys love watching his videos in class. So those will all be posted in the description of my video. All right, work hard, be nice, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. All right, guys, let's go through the packet pages I have assigned for today. So for language arts, you're doing page 212, and you're going to fill in those high-frequency words that we went over. After you write your name and number, read the directions. It says, circle the word that completes each sentence. Write the word on the line. The shape of the cake is blank, round or put. Round would make more sense, so you would circle the word and then write it on the blank. And then do the rest yourself. I see blank one cat. That shark is very blank. I want a cookie, but there are blank left. I see blank swings, and I can help blank this in the toy box. So for handwriting practice, after you write your name and number, I want you to trace the capital P. So you can see the arrows have you going down and then back up. So follow them like that. Keep tracing all the letters and then write them yourself by starting at the dot. And then also do lowercase p. The arrows have you going down and back up. So follow it the exact same way they tell you to. Trace all the letters and then write them yourself starting at the dot. 
for math. I want you guys to make sure that you watch Mrs. Gentile's video and also the Jack Hartman video. But after you watch those videos, you can do this page. It says, read the clock, write the time on the digital clock. So remember, the short hand points to the hour and the long hand points to the minute. And this is an analog clock, and then this would be a digital clock. And on a digital clock, the hour goes right here to the left of the, these two dots, and then the minute goes right here. So o'clock would actually just be two zeros like that. So that's how you would write five o'clock on a digital clock. So do the rest on your own. And then down here it says, draw the hour hand on the clock to show the time. So right here it has the minute hand pointing to the 12. So you need to draw the hour hand. So this would say six o'clock. So you're gonna draw a smaller arrow pointing to the six and then do the rest. For number six, make it say nine o'clock. So draw your small arrow pointing to the nine and so on. And then for social studies, I just want you to read about more traditions that people do around the world. Remember traditions are customs that different countries pass down from generation to generation. So for example, Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. It's a day to be thankful for family, friends, and country. In Russia, many children have dolls that go one inside the other. And in parts of Africa, there's a tradition of braiding hair. So read through these, talk about some traditions that you do with your family that are maybe similar or different to these ones, and uh, color the pictures if you finish. Now for the bonus language arts page, I know I assigned this page yesterday and I told you to write down 10 words from this box. So today I want you to take those 10 words that you wrote and put them in ABC order. So what I did was I just highlighted 10 of the words up here. And when you're doing ABC order, don't forget that you look at the first letter. So a part starts with A. So obviously that one is gonna go first. And then you would go through and look for words that start with B. So barn and barnyard would come next. And then keep going, C and D, E, F, G, until you've gone through all the words. And as usual, do not forget to do your PE, read, it can be books at your house, books on Epic or books on Raskids, study those sight words, and also check out those online resources if you have extra time. All right guys, see you tomorrow.